Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I almost said Xenoblade Chronicles X. We're not playing X. Welcome to the final chapter. I'll be quiet. Where am I? So I'm... <laughs> what was I doing? What was the purpose of my life? No. I've got it wrong. I was never alive. It was Zanza. All along. I... Everything I did was... Do you want to say... Pointless? <laughs> that voice... Nobody else can decide that. Only you. Shulk. Here, Mikol made you a wonderful new weapon. Since you lost your Monado, I mean. It uses the latest Machina technology. Use it when you wake up. Then, let's all go on living. We've relocated the Hyentia and the Nopon refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body, the Bionis. Well, this is our home. Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyentia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part homes like me. Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Kallion would leave the fate of the Hyentia to you if that was gonna happen. Precisely. And Melia, if we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once high in here. Your subjects and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the souls stolen by Zanza. You're a fighter, Melia. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. How shulk? He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up.
It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. What if the Telethi attack? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanza. It is Zanza's will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. Whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Homs. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting, not till the end. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. <sighs> Fiora. <sighs> Sorry. I need to go and get some air. Everyone's got the crap together. And I wonder if you guys could cl click on to what's going on with Alvis. Because Alvis is kind of acting strange from how he usually acts with Stulk. Did you find that a little interesting? Also, we have Cyclus, because now Colony 6 is not the only place that's, like, inhabitable, but, like, a lot of Colony 6 is going to be starting, uh, is going to start uh, becoming our main hub. And let me say this right now. Oh boy! This, uh, the end game of this game is ridiculous. We basically know who our final objective is. It's just, can we do it? We gotta go take care of a god. We gotta go take care of Zanza. I do like this a, a lot from a story perspective, too, because it's like, you know, what happens if, you know, a god did come down to Earth? Like, what would we literally just sit here and, like, kind of... I mean, this, this story has been done by many... Excuse me has been done by many, many games of, like, you know, a what-if scenario. Would some people just sit there and die? Or would some people uh, stand and fight? Or would there be a lot more people who fight than sit down and die? I do like this quite a lot, just because, like, it is human grit and determination to basically just keep alive to a degree. Like, even, like, and, and this is, like, downplaying a lot of this uh, slightly, but, like, even sickness, like sickness is, some, some are known to uh, kill people, but like it is kind of just sheer will and grand determination of not dying, so to a degree, you know, we all have that urge and will. Fiora, are you all right? Guess I wasn't hiding it well. I didn't want to worry anyone. It must be difficult living with that body. I'm getting more and more used to it. But people still look at me funny. Oh, it's not that bad. It feels pretty comfortable, actually. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body... The energy from the chess component made it work. It turned out to be a Monado. Such a strange feeling. A Monado? Was that the Monado?
order that Zamza took from Maynard? Will your body cease to function? I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? like that how can you ask me such a thing I, I'm sorry there's no need to apologize you're right thank you Melia if Shulk awakes will you tell him no he worries too much anyway <laughs> he does worry just like him. Actually, I'm already dead. I have been since the Mechon attacked. Fiora. But I'm happy now. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while longer. Do you feel that strongly for him? Yes. That's why I'll fight on. And help him in any way I can. Let's get back. Everyone will start worrying. Yes, you are right. And Melia, can you keep it a secret from the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Maybe I'll tell him. But only when the time is right. I won't say a word. I'm nothing compared to her. A siren! Fiora, let's hurry back. Okay. Okay, well, Siren, that nice little gal ta talk is completely over by, you know, the uh, the impending doom of uh, Telephia. Mostly Telephia. Uh, but yeah, this part of the game really is kind of thought-provoking in the sense of, like, it's not exactly certain, like, you know, what happens when we get rid of Zanza, or if we get rid of Zanza. A lot of this is just like, you know, fighting against a, uh, well, as Dunban says in his, uh, in his, uh, his, uh, God, his talent art, uh, Blossom, like, uh, Blossom Dance. They are born in a world of strife. They choose to fight, and, you know, they, they have to fight to a degree. Again, it's rather, uh, against the Mechon, against, like, the Bionis, things on the Bionis, or things on the Mechonis. Well, not really anymore, because all that's left of the mechanics is the fell arm, so... Yeah. That siren... Is that...? <laughs> Telethia! The horde of them are approaching! Let's move! Gotcha! I'm going too! But Shulk needs you! I know! But I can't just stay here! What if something happened to you? What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure?
It's my decision. In order to perpetuate their existence, Zanza and Mayneth must use a being they created as a physical host. They cannot exist forever as mere souls. This world was created so that they may continue to exist. It is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands. This is the passage of fate and your visions. People live and die at the mercy of Zanza. And through this, Zanza maintains the existence of this world. Our destruction was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now wishes to destroy you? What is the need for this? That's because... He in fact has no choice but to do it. If he does not, he risks his entire existence. And we're the source of that risk. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. The lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. I couldn't save everyone. Nothing that exists is perfect. It is a sad truth, but you can learn from it and begin the journey on a new path. Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, decide, Shulk. Will you walk the path laid out by Zanza, or will you walk a new path? The Monado awaits you. That was always how it was going to be. If I'd wanted to walk the predetermined path, I wouldn't have come this far. Even with the odds stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. My own path, that I decide. Fiora, Ryan, Dunvan, Sharla, Melia, Ricky. We all feel the same. Well, then, you must defy fate to succeed. Succeed and follow a new path. Alvis, are you? You already know. You know what I am and what you must do. My foot's falling asleep as I sit like this. I probably shouldn't sit like that. These things don't give up. Ricky never lose. Ricky protect Colony 6. Right. We can't let them get any further. You know the drill. Take them down. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have Fura. I don't want Ryan. Ryan, get the piss out of the party.
Uh, Fjord, Melia, and, uh, Ra, uh, Dud Man. Smart me. Uh, Stranger Things. Actually, you know that might be good to put on someone else. Probably not Fiora, though. Uh, is there one for daytime? Which one's the daytime one? Yeah, let's put this on. Bad time to also like readjust stuff, but I'm also just trying to figure out what I want to do with all this. Uh, it's fine. Strength up. Melia doesn't already know for strength. I'll just put that on because I want something to be there. Oh, uh, yeah, we also don't have enough uh, coins for anything. Uh, I mean, overall, that's fine. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna get. So, uh, do we get any new things? Melia's. Oh, yeah, Melia's not completely maxed out, but she's maxed out for the skill I want her to have. Uh, Fiora, you got pretty much more than I want right now. Dunban's maxed out. It has been for a while now. Okay, cool. Let's begin. Let's take care of the smaller Telefia. And just like Melia is known for, start getting uh, buffs on everyone. Nice! That was actually freaking uh, credible. So let's use all of our ether. Summon copy. And to be fair, we're also like really high level for where we're supposed to be at right now. Why is Ricky doing that? Which is hilarious to me. I go Specky. If only Shock was here, we're dead meat without the Monado. Get away from him! Forget about the Monado, kid. More space between Zanzo and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing okay. Ryan is correct. Perhaps we rely too much on the Monado and Shook. Oh, yeah. Right. We've chosen to fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. <laughs> Look at them struggle. <laughs> if they can't even handle a few Telethia, how do they expect to defeat me? This is not the end! Stefan! Fiora! Dunban! Are you okay? I just overdid it. Fiora? I'm okay. I can still fight. Why are you bothering to try and cover it up? Go on, just admit you've had enough. Never! Look out! Lots of dino beasts! God. It truly seems as though everything is going as Sansa planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the will to seize our own destiny. No matter how hard you try to break us, the future is ours to shape, Dixon. Always! When will you learn you have no future? Face it. Your destiny is to die here.
was awesome. <laughs> Sorry for worrying you all. Shulk. Welcome back. Fiora. Little brat. What's he gonna done now? Time for me to get my hands dirty. Shulk, look out! Huh? It's about time for your final lesson. Dixon! Show me what you've got. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zadza? Let's see how you do against me. Okay. I mean, you're also the dick who shot us. So, with this being said... Wait, who got a new art? Oh, right, because Monado cycle. I haven't checked that out. Uh, yeah, so Shulk does keep Monado arts, and he keeps all of his regular arts. So, uh, yeah, sorry, Dixon, but, uh, I'm gonna kick your goddamn ass. Bring it on. Level 85 Shulk versus uh, level 70, uh, 70 Telepia. Bring it on. Don't show any mercy, don't show any signs of backing down. Go right on the off uh, offensive. Use Monado Purge if you have to. And with that, we're pretty much already on the uh, path of victory. Get Shadow Eye going, get it behind us, go for a backslash. That rat. How could he read my movements? What the hell's going on? Shulk! How'd you do it? I could see it. The future. I don't have the Monado. But it came to me, Ryan. From within. Nice one! Looks like we're back in business. <laughs> Bunch of ingrates. Oi! Stop hiding and get yourself out here. I don't appreciate being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! What? It can't be. Alvis! Not you too! Yeah. Another one of Lord Zanza's faithful. One of the Trinity. No! How can he be one of them? Alvis! Is this the only reason you served under my family? You traitor! Oi! Say something! Shulk! Leave it. It doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't change anything at all. Does it? Alvis. Yes, precisely. You must find your own path to the future. The Delethia! He's... So you're just another one of Sansa's lapdogs! Get ready, everyone. Show them no mercy. As you wish, let us see that will to survive. And we already know another Trinity member. It is Alvis. Well, I mean, as you said, nothing in life is perfect, right? So, let's learn from it. Get Shadow Eye going. And keep on the pressure with Telepia. fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you or to Zanza? Well? <laughs> Either way is good with me. But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same. And he sees everything. As you see, Shulk. It's like he says. 
Get back here! You understand? Don't you, Shulk? Yeah. You can bet on it. We'll be waiting. We'll be on our best behavior. And we will be the best guests you ever had. Ah, that's quite a good comeback. I'm impressed. I'm trembling. Me. Stupid meddling kid. <laughs> After all these years, I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? I have. She said she was going out to get some air. I don't think she went far. Thanks. I'll take a look. <sighs> Fiora, here you are. Oh, Shulk. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. It's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. I wonder why Alvis said what he did. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Why would he side with Zanza? Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever? Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's another reason why I have to find Zanza. I have to find out why. You and me both. I must fulfill Maynard's wish. Shulk? You wanted to speak to me about something. Oh, that's right. Lenarda's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey, um, can you go ahead? I'll go and see Lenarda in a minute. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Oh, thank you. What can I do? If I go to see Leonardo, she'll find out what's happening to my body. I need to come up with a good excuse. Oh, please, let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. Zanza is inside the Bionis. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. Yes, and Alvis too. That's all good, but how do we get to them? If they're inside the Bionis, we're gonna need to dig a pretty big hole. How long did it take? Breaking it all soon. It just so happens I have the answer. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. It's the wound made by Agil's final attack. Then that means... Yes. While the Allied force keeps the Telethia busy, you can sneak inside that wound and take out Sansa. We will take Junks. 
Let my father know when you are ready to depart. Yeah, time to knock some heads. Ricky never lose. For Ricky family, Ricky win. We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! Ready. We go to the Bionis chest. We will free our world from Zanza's curse. We could do that, or if I'm not mistaken... Oh, actually, those quests don't become a lot to you. You're supposed to get quests for certain things. I guess we gotta go to the next part. Uh, well, I mean, anyways, whatever quest will be unlocked, it will stay unlocked, so... Like, let's go fly into the Bionis, then. We will have to come back and do a crap ton of things, like, you know, get rare materials and stuff for Colony 6, because we're still not done Colony 6. But, let's just say, soon enough, we are going to be kill- uh, well, well, yeah, we're, that's the plan, we're gonna kill- we're gonna go kill Zanza. But, as you guys saw, you can't go back to Akamov. You go back to Air C, there's a quest for you there still. But you can't go back to Akamov. Welcome to the interior of the Bionis. We're here for a actual dungeon. It's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza and stop him. Okay, uh, okay, now the quests become a lot to you. I was like, why do they not become a lot to you to begin with? If we come over here, talk to Venea. Is the Rebel Club or not as, as your satisfaction? Uh huh, I told you. I should not say this is a Shulk, but it's fine. We have to get Lucky Fang, uh, well, the Silk we already have, and the Ardrin Elder. For your... Oh, I know where... Yeah, I know where I got that, actually. Can we... F no, we have to fight that by now, yeah. And another uh, Monado re replica. Uh-huh. There's five in total. We're probably not going to get all five, but we'll get close to getting some of them. I really only want the fourth one here. I think it's the fourth one I want. Okay, I think when they say somewhere on the Bionis, they mean in the interior of the Bionis. I had to look into it for sure, because I also don't remember where all this stuff is. But we're going to equip the... Well, we're going to set our main objective as the fourth Monado Replica. Because the fourth Monado replica is my personal favorite. Just because I want to just get power, mostly. We'll do the other Monado replicas, but like, right now, my only concern is the fourth one. Satoral Marsh, here we go. Uh, the fourth one. Yep. Turkin Elder Metal. I'm gonna definitely... No, because that's gotta be somewhere else. Uh, the Dragon... Yeah, from the dragon, the uh, dramatic ever flames. That's gotta be from something I'm just not rem remembering correctly. Uh, and once again, like you don't have to get the Monado replicas, uh, like all the other ones, but I'm going to get it because they're all pretty damn useful. Also, Shulk needs uh, strength up. Also, why is it ordered like this? That's really goddamn weird to me. Okay, we got the Monado, Strength Up. Uh, I guess for right now, I'll put... I really, I really don't know what to give Shulk right now. I guess we'll just give him the Experience Boost, because it could only really help us to gain levels. Even though I don't necessarily need levels right now. Uh, the quick step stays, that will stay for right now. I'll probably end up replacing it with something else better. 
Regal daggers. Right, I need to give this to Fiora. Uh, Fiora. Also, wait, hold on. Is that not your better weapon? That is your better weapon. Uh, whoops. I can't do Jack. Uh, strength up. Let's just give her all the strength up that we can give her. 95, and then we just need, like, 40-something. Uh, that should be fine. Nope. Well, in that case, we'll just give her strength up plus 5, because I know we have a couple of those. Let's give her the 81. And then we'll give your, uh... I guess a muscle. Muscle up, just so she has something else to do. Earth Cloak. Actually, we'll just give her the, the Thunder Attack. The Electric Attack. Because that would be additional damage to her. Or not to her, but for her. Uh, yeah, for right now, that's fine. Uh, also, I will show this off later in like a bonus video th thing, but please note you get pretty much all the things for the Monado replicas uh, in that little subspace. I'm not doing it just because that's not part of the original and I don't really think it's necessary to do. Also, I think we need a material from you. Active cells. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely something we're gonna have to kill. We're also gonna have to kill Telepia regardless because they have, um, one of their rarest drops is what we're gonna need, which is the ocean, uh, elixir or whatever. I don't think it's any Telepia, it's gotta be like certain Telepia, but yeah. I'm gonna also just kill everything regardless because we're gonna want materials. Oh, actually, was that what I needed? For one of them? Flexible cell and steel cell. Oh, right. What? Aren't you guys the enemies? I think you guys are the enemies. I just used Monado and Chan. God dang it, we're also not gonna fight Ma Machina or, um, our, our, Maca the, the, yeah, the, we're not gonna fight, uh, the Makana stuff for a long time if they even remotely show up. Because now it's pretty much all the Bionic stuff. We got Ether Deposits if you ever need stuff. And I'm just going to kill stuff as I see them because I don't remember what drops what. Wings of Light. Oh yeah, you're a Jelly Guy. Hello, Jelly Guy. I need your body parts. I probably should use Ricky for this, because Ricky's yoink ability is amazing for getting items at times, but it's also completely random what you get from Ricky, so, eh. Okay, we got a rare chest. Are you, do you drop what I want? Yes, the flexible cell. And we didn't get that much great ether stuff. Yes, yes, I know. We found the flexible cell. We need to get uh, two of those. So if anything, I might just do this off camera because there's a lot of grinding we're going to have to do for this. Also, can we not attack you? There we go. Okay. Active cell. Oh yeah, also, we can now get items for the inner inner Bionis stuff, so get ready for that, because we gotta get a lot. I'm not even joking, there's a lot we're gonna have to want, we're gonna want from this, I think this actually does give you some of the best uh, stuff in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Happy dick. You know what, Doug Man? You're doing fine, buddy. And active. God dang it. It's 
But once again, I might just have to do this off camera because like these are also like one of the rarest drops. Like anything from now on in for Colony Six is like some of the rarest drops you'll ever see in this game. <laughs> By honest interior. There's the heart. We got the ether flow and whatnot. And there's gonna be quite a few unique monsters that we're gonna have to fight in here too. After cutting, I guess. <laughs> you look well, your highness. That voice. It's Lorathea. Show yourself. Look at that. The heart of the Bionis. The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Quit your yapping and show yourself. I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. <laughs> Lorithea, what are you planning? Forget her for now. We must push on to the heart. All right. Shulk's not wrong, but he kind of is at the same time. <laughs> so, we know where Laura Thea is. We also got to go up there and pretty much like kick her right in the face. Freaking woman. I'm not saying like that as like a sexist comment, I'm just saying that she is, uh. You know, I. Well, I mean, to be fair, I already kind of swore in this episode. Not beat around the bush, she's kind of a lying bitch. So, uh, yeah, it looks like the game is also kind of going to force us to go there. But I'm not going to, because I know there's secret areas and such that we need to go find eventually. Okay. We need one more from you. We need one more cell. So if you want to drop that, that would be fantabulous. And it looked like it did. It totally did. Yep, flexible cell. We don't need any more, right? Whoops, that's the... Yeah, wrong button. No, we need three. God damn it. They... They're... Where's the enemy? Oh, it's over there. Get over here. Also, you can totally fall into the water below, or like the the stomach fluids and stuff. So, uh, don't. Just don't. I think you guys can also drop what we need. I think you guys do drop what we need. Crap. And you drop the regular chest. I don't want the regular one. I want the other one. That's fine. Oh, what the frick? Which one is this? Uh, yeah, we need two. So we need three in total for Encyclopedia. Black Liver Bean. Also, are you? You're not the unique monster, but there is a monster that's like you that we have to fight. Crap, I messed up. Yeah, it's fine. You're not all that strong, anyways, compared to me. Ooh, we got the silver chest. So that, that's going to guarantee to drop the right thing I want. Yeah, regular chest and a silver chest. Active cell. And hot saliva cell or whatever. We don't need that, so shoot. If I could target on to whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to definitely target on to you. Hey, you! Yeah, we'll, we'll just come back and fight that, I guess. Because I'm also just going to go around and try to get the materials we're going to want. Because from this point onwards, there's going to definitely be a lot dropping that we are going to want to get. Also, I don't really think I need money a whole lot right now, because I think my money is like 
it's not capped off, but it's like pretty high up there. Oh, we need one more, and then we can just throw it into and we can throw it into the collectopedia. So that's good. Also, I just flew myself right off the edge. Uh, so I think when we get to this, we gotta get three of both. Uh, I'm gonna go right back to Colony Six and start giving them away. I'm gonna have to definitely look into that because I don't remember how you get those items. I know how you get some of that, but that's like eh, it's gonna be a while until we can like really start doing some of that. I also kind of want Ricky to be in the party because I think he has an upgraded chance of getting a uh, certain chest to spawn or the higher rank stuff to, or higher chest to spawn. Uh, well, I mean you're the dangerous stuff, so you're gonna like hurt us when we get in here. I'm also not gonna lie, I kinda wish that Earthlings could aggro on us, but it's fine. Okay, we got the silver chest. Do you drop the other cell we need? No, you don't. Get over here. Wait, does, do we not get hurt when we go in there? I thought we were supposed to. Oh, no, it's just water, I guess. Well, I learned something new about this game every, every time I play it, because I don't remember half of this crap. Also, oh no, 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 the dragon guy! I want to kill him. Wait, yeah, crap. Hey, dragon guy! I want to fight you. Yeah, it's fine, you come back around. Maybe hey, we can fight you. Bring it! You don't scare me much. I thought Fjord just fell off the freaking Bionis. Active cells. Terminal, terminal, terminal pain? What? I read that wrong. Tap, tap. So, let us try to fight that dragon now. The dragon Telepia. Get over here! I want to fight you! Yeah, we're not gonna do a chain attack. Sorry. Soul read. Wing of light. Okay, so we still have to go there. Pretty much want to explore the entire area just because there's a lot to do here. Also, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of creepy, ain't it? It's not exactly like, t like childhood nightmares like Jabu Jabu was, but like it's still pretty scary. Just to know you're also in a giant uh, living thing. Oh, we triggered a unique fight. Oh, it's you. Okay, well you're gonna die. Oh, you wanted to hurt me. That's so freaking adorable. Eh, it's fine. We don't really need it to do a whole lot. I also realized, like, nothing's gonna hit me. Oh, this is fun. And we're done. Cool. So you drop the super rare chest. Which has the st oh for God, freaking uh, of course it did. And then you drop the same thing, don't you? Yep. We need to kill those guys to get the thing. We need to kill the long arm ones for the ones that we need for the other one. That's great to know. 
At least the long arm ones kind of spawn in like the same general area for the most part, so I know where to go for them. It's just kind of a major. It's just kind of an inconvenience because they're like the the ones that aren't really that common. Did we just get all three that we needed from those guys? Really? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And then over there is kind of like nothing new. I think those Dragon Telepia drop the thing I need. I think they dr they have a chance of dropping the Ocean Elixir thing. And once again, we're not going to follow the predetermined path. We want to go the opposite path for where, what we want. Okay, we know you... I mean, do you drop it? It's not likely, but it's possible. Let's just see what the rare uh, chest is for these guys. You know, if they're going to drop the rare chest, that'd be great. Okay, this takes us to another ether deposit. It's a wind dep uh, deposit. So I've, actually, you know, I might want to get that because uh, we have the chance of getting the agility up. And I definitely want higher agility up. Oh, I got crystallizing luck. Cool. Uh, I mean, I know where you're gonna force me to go, but like, I'm gonna also go other ways if I can help it. Iron Sphere, happy dick. The duck is happy. Oh, cool. Another unique monster. Oops, nope, do chain attack me. Oh, the Tentacle guy is here. Okay. That makes my life a bit easier. Uh, done, Ben. You were supposed to topple it. Go for it. Although it's kind of like too late for that. I do not know how to feel about being this overpowered compared to other things. Yeah, let's go Shadow Eye. There we go. And the super rare chest for you drops. Uh, pretty much nothing I want. Okay, cool. I'll take it anyways. Okay, then you gotta drop your rare chest, and we have pretty much like all the stuff we need. Nope, you drop the common. Lift your common item. Cool. Okay, what about item spheres? Blood worm. There's no ultimate path for this. Pretty much, I'm also gonna like default to read the map because the map is gonna be like our one true guide for this. You go up there, and there's nothing really important there. I'm trying to get to that secret area. Just looking around how you get to it. I could also just tell me jump from here. Okay, please drop your rare thing. Oh, I dropped the rare thing. Nice. And now I believe we don't need anything else from this area. I mean, we'll need some, like, item spheres, but, like, that's really about it. Active cell. Yep, flexible, uh, cell cell. Or, flexible, whatever the word is. And we can do special. Cool. Then we gotta do that, and we gotta do that. The Elixir of Life, we're gonna need two of those, so we might have to come back for that one. Uh, I mean, I know what the game wants me to do. But let's go over here, because I think this goes to a dead end, too. Next landmark, we'll uh, just leave the area. I also don't think there's another unique monster in the area, if I'm not mistaken, right? Should it be? Oh, this doesn't lead to a... Oh, uh, yeah, that leads to a different area entirely, so that's fine. Okay. 
Okay, so... What crystal is that? If I could see, it's a, it's a red one, so it's strength up and stuff, which I don't really need. I got that from the Goliath monsters and whatnot. You're not a unique monster. I don't think anything here is a unique monster, is it? Nope. Oh, you are. That's good to know. Oh, you just have a lot of defense, don't you? I mean, it's fine. I'm not too concerned by this, but it's concerning enough. Also, let's make this a wee bit faster. Got another affinity point for that, so that's great. Uh, split breath. I don't think that's good. I, that might be a better thing for Dunban, but I'll look into that for sword purposes. Oh, there's another unique monster here. Okay. Well, I mean, since we're here, we might as well. Uh, that's an electric one, so that would give us ether up and stuff, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go gather some of that, too, I guess. Ba -na 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 Telepia tail. Oh. He wanted to give me tail, but I said no. Yeah, it's another affinity coin, which we're probably never going to see that fruition of. And I'm bored. <laughs> I got bored, so I stabbed them. Left you a wing, was that? Like, s s several ring? Happy, happy is, uh, you. You dropped the same weapon as the other one. What the piss? Also, Ricky got a new skill. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, let's see the dumb man. Is that any better? Not really. Let's mine the crap out of this ether deposit. And. Yeah, where's the other yeah I'll just come back for that also uh that's got to wait until next time because we're going back to colony six and we're going to start gathering the materials for um colony six and also just us in general because we're going to try to grind off the monster parts we're going to want and trust me there's a lot but let's end off this episode with uh the special being upgraded for colony six so I'm not going to lie, I kind of forgot what this is. I think it's a tower? It's a water tower. It's like a little, yeah, it's a water tower. I thought it was another one. Yay! Oh, it's a watchtower. I thought it was a water tower. Whoops. Oh, we upgraded uh, Colony 6 enough that we got a uh, little street lights. ba da na na ba da na Da -na -na. A deep debuff resist. Okay. No one's gonna really get that, but that's still useful. Okay, so next up, we're gonna get the uh, the ocean elixir of life, and I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm gonna try to find out where the crap we get all this other stuff. Oh, the bolt. Yeah, the infernal and bolt element. I remember we got those. Rabbit? No, oh, you got that from Colony freaking 9. Ugh, I'll just run around Colony 9 until we get that. Uh, everything else, yeah, we kind of get kind of spread out throughout this, I think. I'm still gonna, like, pull up a, like, a Wikipedia article for a lot of this, just because I don't remember a lot of it, but we might do it just in the recording, because I'm, I don't really think that far in advance, in all honesty. Uh, so anyways, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, where we're pretty much gonna fix up Colony 6, or, yeah, Colony 6 up to the point where we could kind of just, like, leave them alone for a bit. Until then, later!